Welcome, engineers. My name is Travis IQ, and today we're going to talk about Cloud Plus. I am currently studying and or prepping to take the Cloud Plus exam. You will notice, hey, Travis, you take a lot of exams. Yes, I do. As an instructor, I have to recertify and or certify in courses. I am going to be teaching or will be teaching with new certifications and this and that. Um, and so one of those one of those courses coming up is a Cloud Plus. As an intro, I thought I would talk about my uh, preparation process, what I think of cloud infrastructure and uh, cloud certs like a Cloud Plus, and then uh, we'll, we'll see a follow-up video and talk about the test itself, right? And uh, what I think after passing the test, hopefully, as is always the case, right? And so uh, I would say first and foremost, right, one of the advantages of a CompTIA certification and a Cloud Plus through CompTIA, right, would be, and the thing that they would talk about the most on their website would be vendor neutrality. And so that is a very good thing, especially if you're, let's say, not a cloud network engineer or a cloud engineer or a cloud cybersecurity engineer or whatever it is you'd be doing cloud storage, all this type of all of these types of things. If you're not currently working in an AWS environment, in an Azure environment, in a Google Cloud environment, right, then a vendor neutral cert would probably be of a bigger benefit to you. If you were attempting to get a cert to get a little bit more knowledge in your specific area of expertise, then write an AWS cert or an Azure cert or something like this might be a little bit more valuable. Um, but if you are looking to enter this space, then clearly a vendor neutral cert has some has some advantages, right? Um, so I would say their vendor neutrality is pretty good. Um, and we've talked about vendor neutrality versus uh, vendor specific certs before and what what you what you gain in general knowledge, you lack in specificity, right? So it's not going to be as specific about how to set up an AWS S3 bucket, right? How to use Microsoft's Azure and maybe their O365 platform in their in their cloud infrastructure, right? So there are some benefits and some drawbacks. Um, I will say that uh, in my prep for the exam so far, I have thought that the uh, the range of information has been pretty good, right? So they talk about um, storage infrastructures and virtualization and how cloud has come to be in a sense, right? How virtualization in general um, lends itself to allowing for virtual for uh, these cloud infrastructures to spin up for you to take and partition your hardware to do whatever you want with it, right? Um, they've talked about, you know, st the different mechanisms of uh, of storage and storage capacity that we can allocate as well, things like storage area networks and its differences between that and network attached storage and things like this. Um, and then they also and then they also discuss cloud models, right? So public and private clouds and, and these hybrid cloud models and things like this. So really interesting stuff. Um, there's also a significant focus on the fundamentals of how these infrastructures are built out, which I think makes a whole lot of sense. So whenever I do things like CCNAs or um, other networking certs, right, I get a lot of questions about, especially if we're talking about hardware, right, switches, routers, server infrastructures, right. The, one, of the, one of the major questions is, hey, Travis, how is this going to change when everything uh, moves to a virtualized infrastructure? How does networking change? when SDN is the standard, software defined networking. How does networking change when I move to the cloud, right? And I will say that um, although there are some non-trivial changes, right, for the most part, the fundamentals of data transport and data security still hold true. We still need to encrypt data at rest. We still need to encrypt data in, in transit. We still need to have strong partitions between the networks and segmentation, and we need to firewall off specific um, components of our network and we need to analyze the traffic and things like assumed breach, right? These are all concepts that hold true in both our standard physical environments and our virtualized environments and our cloud environments, right? And and I think that Cloud Plus does a good job of emphasizing that those facts by um, incorporating the fundamentals into their exam structure, into their exam objectives, right? Um, all of these things. So I think that you know, there's a there's a really important there's a really important point to be made for you know understanding the fundamentals, and so I, I don't think that this is probably a starting cert. It would be a good starting cert in the cloud, but in terms of your understanding of network infrastructure and security, I wouldn't start here, right? Um, but I also think that in terms of your in introduction to right cloud infrastructures, I would say it's a little bit more advanced than let's just say some like rudimentary introduction to cloud. But I wouldn't say that it's a particularly advanced discussion of containerization, Docker and Kubernetes, um, SAN infrastructures, these types of things. There are some there are some components right that discuss those topics, but not um, an in-depth discussion like you would like you would see in let's say just a straight you know Docker or Kubernetes course or something like a, a straight um, SAN course, architectural course. And so 
from that perspective, I think it's I think it's a, a, a really solid search. Um, we're gonna take the test, pass the thing, let you know how it goes, and let you know how I think it does in terms of addressing the um, exam objectives, as well as uh, how it fits in the time how it fits in the time frame. What I think of um, you know the the exam question types and these types of things. Um, that being said, a short video, but as always, engineer, break stuff, and have fun.